Perhaps you've gotten back with another crispy mass tutorial. In today's video tutorial, we'll be looking at 2.1, which represents chapter 2, section 1 of the Pearson Pure Mass Year 2 textbook, solving a modulus equation. So, question number 1. I would like to solve the modulus of 3x minus 1 equal to 5. When, whenever you have a modulus equation, you can form two equations, people, from a single modulus equation. Well, let's form the first equation. The first equation will just be whatever you have inside the modulus, so 3x minus 1 equal to 5. You solve this equation as normal people, and after solving, you get x equal 2. That is your first solution. The second equation, I'm going to call it equation B. Now, equation B will just be whatever you have inside the modulus, you put it in brackets, so 3x minus 1 in brackets, and you stick a minus in front of it, equal to 5. Now, you solve this equation. After solving, you get x equal minus 4 over 3. So these are the two solutions to this modulus equation. Let's take a step back and think about what's happening graphically, geometrically. Well, we've got the graph y equal to the modulus of 3x minus 1, and it's equal to the graph y equal 5. So what we're looking at is a point of intersection. The intersection between the modulus graph y equal 3x minus 1 and the graph y equal 5. So I'm going to sketch this and see if these solutions are reasonable, if they're correct. So here's my solution. The first graph has equation y equal modulus of 3x minus 1. The second graph has equation y equal 5. Okay, so I'm going to quickly sketch this for you guys here. Yeah? Here's my sketch. Well, I can see two intersections. So straight away I can conclude that these two solutions are valid because there's two intersections over here. Right, now this intersection has a negative x value, okay, so it will be minus 4 over 3. And this point over here has a positive x value, so in this case it will be 2. Right guys, let's have a look at question number 2 now. A little bit more crispy. So, we want to solve this modulus equation. Now this question is different to question 1, because this time you have a modulus equal to a linear. Before it was a modulus equal to a constant. Right, so we can first perform two equations from this modulus equation. The first equation is just 3x minus 5, okay, where we have inside the modulus, so it's 3x minus 5 equal to 11 minus x. You just solve this equation as normal, okay, before I solve it, I'm going to call it equation A. So the solution to this particular equation will just be x equal 4. Then you form the second equation, equation b. Okay. This time you put 3x minus 5 in brackets, and you stick a minus in front, equal to 11 minus x. No problem guys, we've got this, we've got this, yeah? No problem. You solve this equation, and then after solving this beautiful equation, you get x equal minus 3. So we've got two solutions over here. So if we were to look at it graphically, we are trying to conclude that there are two intersections between y equal modulus of 3x minus 5 and y equal 11 minus x. We can actually check this by sketching the graphs on the same coordinate grid. Before we sketch it, we know that 
uh, the first graph would be more steeper than the second graph because the gradient of the first graph is 3 and the gradient of the second graph is minus 1. So I'm going to quickly sketch uh, these two graphs on the same coordinate grid. Right guys, so, what we can see over here is two points of intersection. So, these two solutions are valid because there are two points of intersection. Now, this point over here has a negative x value, so in this case it will be minus 3. This point over here has a positive x value, so in this case it will be 4 people. Okay, it will be 4. And that completes the question.